Hi guys, so do you want to pass through a USB controller or any other PCIe device easily? Well, keep watching. Hi there guys, so welcome to another video. Now a long time ago, back in 2016, I made a video called how to easily pass through a USB controller. Well, to be honest, it wasn't really quite that easy. There was a lot of steps involved. But now it is actually really easy to pass through not only a USB controller, but any PCIe device at all. And to help us do this, we're going to be using the VFIO PCI Config plugin. This really does make things super easy, especially for passing through a USB controller. Because the tricky thing about a USB controller is we don't want to pass through the controller that has our USB flash drive on it, because otherwise Unraid won't boot. But using this plugin, it makes it super easy to see which USB controller our flash drive is plugged into, so as not to accidentally pass it through by mistake. But like I said, this plugin isn't only for passing through USB controllers. We can easily pass through any PCIe device at all, so long as we follow certain rules. And the main thing is, for any pass through, is one, we have to have IOMMU enabled, and this is done in the motherboard. If your CPU is an Intel CPU, in the motherboard settings, you want to be looking for something called VTD. This is the Intel version of IOMMU. And on an AMD motherboard, it's just called IOMMU. So this must be enabled for any pass through to be able to work. But whilst you're in the motherboard settings, make sure that it's actually set to enabled. Don't have it on auto. Sometimes that doesn't work correctly. Always make sure it's set to enabled. Now the other thing we have to make sure for any type of pass through at all is the device that we're passing through is in its own IOMMU group. Sometimes you'll be lucky and all of the things are in their own IOMMU groups. Or you may find that your GPU is in its own IOMMU group, but other devices aren't. So in this video, I'm going to use the plugin and pass through an NVMe drive and a USB controller. So now let's jump onto an Unraid server and get that done. Okay, so let's open up a web browser and go to the Unraid web UI. So here we are on my main server, and if we look at the hardware here by clicking on Info, we can see the motherboard is an ASRock X470 Tai Chi and the CPU is a Ryzen 9 3900X. And underneath that, we can see that it says IOMMU is enabled. If it said disabled, then I'd have to go and look in my motherboard BIOS settings and make the proper corrections. Now, just one other thing. It doesn't say IOMMU here because I'm using an AMD CPU. It would also say IOMMU enabled if my CPU is an Intel CPU and I had the VTD enabled. This is just the way Unraid tells us whether that setting's enabled in our BIOS or not. So let's close this. Now let's go across to this other server here. Now this has very similar hardware. It's also got an ASRock 470 Tai Chi. And this one has a Ryzen 9 3950X. IOMMU is enabled on this server too. So for all intents and purposes, the servers are pretty much exactly the same. But this server here doesn't have any VMs at all on it, and this is the one that we're going to use to set up everything on. But before we do, I just want to go back to the main server, because it has a lot of VMs on that one, and have a look at the Windows 10 template here. And let's scroll down. We can see here there's a graphics card pass through. It's got a 1080 Ti. And graphics cards have always been really easy to pass through in Unraid. They're always selectable just from a drop down menu. But going further down to the bottom, We've got this section here saying other PCI devices. And this VM has a USB 3 controller that's passed through to it as well. So let's close this and go back across to the other server here. And let's go to VMs and click on add VM, choose a template. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, where it says other PCI devices, it says there's none available. Now obviously there's other PCI devices in the server, but they're not available to be passed through as yet. So let's have a look at the hardware that's available on this server. And to do that, we go to Tools, and then System Devices. And under PCI Devices and IOMMU Groups, we can see all of the hardware that's in the server. For instance, we can see that there's a USB controller here. 
Now if you're familiar to KVM and passing through hardware, then you'll already know, in order to pass through a PCI device, whether it's a USB controller, a graphics card, anything at all, then ideally it needs to be in its own IOMMU group. Because if it isn't in its own IOMMU group, then you're going to have to pass through all of the devices that are in that group. So if I wanted to pass through this USB controller here, because all of these other devices are present in group 6, it's going to be really hard to do it. But there are ways of splitting up IOMMU groups. And if we go across to my main server, which has the same motherboard, and we go to Tools, System Devices, we can see that there's a lot more IOMMU groups here. For instance, this USB controller is in its own group, Group 39. So going back up to the top, we can see here it says warning, your system has been booted with PCIe ACS override setting enabled. So that's what's actually split up all of these groups. So to better pass through something on this other server here, we're going to have to do the same to this. So to do that, we want to go to settings here, and then VM manager, and we need to toggle across to advanced view. And here you can see the PCIe ACS override. We can see that this is disabled, and clicking onto it, we've got three different options, downstream, multifunction, or both. Now if I click onto downstream here first, and click apply, and done, it says here that we need to reboot for these changes to be applied. So let's do that. Okay, so with the server rebooted, those changes will have taken effect. So let's go to Tools, System Devices, and we can see here that the IOMMU groups have changed. Now we've still got a big group here, Group 18, but if we look at Group 19 and 20, the GPUs have been split into two groups. So Group 19 here is the RX 570 and its sound counterpart, and Group 20 is the GTX 2080 Ti and its sound counterpart. So the GPUs now can easily be passed through. But these other groups here, but if I wanted to pass through this USB controller, it's in a group with these other devices. So again, I'd have to pass through everything here, or I can't pass through this USB controller at all. So that's why, for the ACS override patch, we've got different settings. So now if I go from downstream to multifunction, and click apply, done, and then reboot the server again. So now with that change, let's go back to tools, system devices, and we can see now that the IOMMU groups are not really very split up at all. The graphics cards are all back together, so this setting for me isn't really very good. So I'm going to go back one final time, and I'm going to swap here from multifunction to both. So this is both downstream and multifunction. So I'm going to apply that and reboot the server again. So let's check out the groupings again. Okay, so now everything's pretty much split up. Now I'd better pass through this USB controller fine. Now just a quick word of warning, don't be tempted when you're setting up your server just to go to settings, VM manager and just put this on both no matter what. Use the ACS override patch sparingly. If having the setting on downstream that works for you and the devices you want to pass through in their own group, leave it at that. You don't need to have everything isolated, you only need the things isolated that you're going to be passing through. Okay, so now my IOMMU is taken care of. What I want to do is I want to set up a VM, obviously passing through a graphics card, but I also want to pass through an NVMe drive and a USB controller. These are two things that people like to pass through for a very high performance VM. Now if we look at group 17 here, here's an NVMe controller for one of the drives that I have in my computer. And we can see underneath it, there's a USB controller and further down there's another NVMe controller, this time for a Samsung drive, and also another USB controller here too. So, I've got two NVMe controllers and two USB controllers in the server. So let's go to the main tab here, and here we can see there's one NVMe drive, this Samsung drive here, so obviously that's the Samsung controller, and here's my other NVMe drive here, this Sabrent NVMe, so this will be the NVMe that's on the other controller, and this is the NVMe drive that I'd like to pass through. In fact, this NVMe drive here, I've taken out from another computer, and it's already got an operating system on it. This NVMe drive has the Linux distro Pop! OS on it. Anyway, so choosing which NVMe drive to pass through is easy, because I can tell just from the name of the drive. So knowing which NVMe controller to pass through is pretty easy, because I can tell from the name of the drives. But how about the USB controller? That's going to be a bit more difficult. Because I don't want to pass through the controller that has my flash drive on it, 
because as soon as I do that, well, Unraid certainly isn't going to like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to download a plugin. So let's go to the Apps tab and I'm going to type in VFIO and download and install the VFIO PCI Config plugin. So with that installed, I'm going to go to Settings and click on the plugin icon here. And here we can see all of our IOMMU groups. And the great thing about this awesome plugin is for the USB controllers, we can actually see what's connected to each controller. Now here we can see there's a Logitech receiver here connected to this one. And I can't see the flash drive here anywhere. And scrolling down further here, this USB controller here, I can see that the flash drive is connected to this controller here. So because of that, I know that I don't want to pass through this controller here. So I know that the one that I can pass through is going to be this USB controller here. So all I need to do is select this one here. And actually above here is the NVMe controller. This isn't the Samsung one, so I know this is the one I want to pass through. So I'm going to check the tick box on this one here too. And so with that done, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and then click this button here, the Build VFIO PCI Config button here. And once I've done that, I'm going to click on to Save here. And it tells us we're going to have to reboot for these changes to take effect. So let's do that now. OK, so now the server's rebooted. Let's go to the VMs tab. And I'm going to add a new VM. And I'm going to choose Ubuntu here. But I'm going to change the icon here because I'm actually going to be using Pop! OS. Now these icons aren't standard, so if you want to install them, then I did a video quite a few years ago now that you can see here. And let's name this properly. I'm going to give it 8 cores and 8 gigs of RAM. Now let's scroll right down to the bottom now. And here we can see the two devices. There's the NVMe controller. I'm going to select that. And there's the USB controller. I'm going to select that. And of course I'm going to want a graphics card. So from the drop down menu, I'm going to choose the RX 570. I need to add the sound counterpart. So I'm going to put that in here. And as this card is the primary card of my server, I'm going to pass through its VBIOS as well. And because I'm passing through this NVMe drive, I don't actually need a VDisk, so I'm going to click None for that one. I don't want to start the VM up straight away, so I'm going to untick this one here, and I'm going to click on to Create. OK, so there's the VM all created. So I may as well give it a test and check that it all works fine. OK, yeah, it's booting up, that's great. And here we are in Pop! OS. And let's see if I can log in. OK, so the keyboard and mouse is working. So USB pass through is fine. Great, that's all done. OK, so it's really easy to pass through PCIe devices. But if we go back to the main tab here, the NVMe drive is no longer listed as an unassigned device. Because if we go back to the plugin, and we look at this bit here, Bound, we can see that these two devices are now bound to the kernel driver VFIO PCI. So because of that, they're no longer available in Unraid. But what I could do, if I want this one to be available again, if I uncheck it now, and then click Rebuild VFIO PCI Config, and Save, and OK. Let's quickly reboot. OK, so now the server's rebooted, we can see that the NVMe drive is back as an unassigned device. So now let's go to VMs, and I'm going to click on Add New VM here. Again, I'm going to choose a Ubuntu template. And now if we go down to the bottom here, we can see that only the USB device is in other PCI devices. And that's because how the Unraid VM templates populates this other PCI devices area here, is it lists the PCIe devices that have been bound to the VFIO PCI driver. But, now if I go back to the VMs tab again, and I have a look at my Pop! OS VM here. Going down to the bottom here, hey, the NVMe drive is still listed here, and it will still pass through. And that's because I added it to the template beforehand. And so now if I go back up to the top here, and I start up the VM, let's go back to the main tab while I do so, and we can see because I've started the VM, the NVMe drive is now not available as an unassigned device. And if I stop the VM, Go back to the main tab. Hey, it's back again. So that's one thing you can try. If you want the device that you're passing through to still be available to Unraid when the VM isn't running.
Now your mileage may vary having devices pass through to VMs and then back to Unraid over and over. I've never had any problems doing it this way myself but it isn't the official way to do it. So if I go to the template here, go to edit and I untick this here and update and then I want to add it back again well it's no longer in the template so to add it back I'd have to go through the same process by using the plugin to rebind it back to the VFIO PCI driver well okay that's everything for this video I think I think it's a really great plugin that one and I wouldn't be surprised if we see that become an official part of later Unraid builds Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. And to all of my patrons and supporters out there, thank you so much guys for supporting me and making it possible for me to make these videos. And anyone who would like to join these great bunch of people, you can find links in the description of how to support the channel. So guys, it's time for me to go now. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good. Keep safe and I'll catch you in that next video.